Hi everyone, this is Alex Talopoli from Rhapsody of Fire and you are watching Rock and Live. Well, we, Fabio and myself sit down and uh, by reading all the lyrics and all the song titles that he brought, uh, we thought that I liked that title at first, you know. And the other titles are more like uh, dreaming or some more poetic, you know. I wanted something more strong, you know. So I thought this is the one. And then I had in mind to have a cover with, with the wings, you know. So it was something like, yeah, that's, that, that's the title I like. True, we we decided to not work together because we were not on the same page. I would say that uh, we get to know each other better on tour, and uh, I really thought it was um, not the, the right guy. You know, I wanted. You know, so we just uh, decided that you know very calmly and part away. You know, now I have Robbie Demichelli as the only guitar player and, and I think this is the best uh, solution for Rhapsody of Fire. We are five members like in the beginning. I'm very happy with that. You know. well, starting from drums, we played in, we recorded in Munich in the studio of our uh, front of house engineer, Sebastian Roder. So we did the drums there, and then we did the bass, the guitars, and the choirs in our, the studio of a friend of mine. We did the vocals in my home, in my studio, and the orchestra was recorded in Macedonia, so it was more studios involved. <laughs> The process is about the same, you know, usually you start with the drums and then you follow with the bass, and you record the guitars. Actually, I was recording vocals while Robbie was recording the guitar, so because we already had a demo with the guitar, so we could work it out for the vocals. Yeah, it was uh, some, somehow the process is almost the same. You know? It happens that in Milano, uh, it, a guy came to me and uh, he says he's a big fan of, of the band and he's an orchestra director and he's a composer, he's writing soundtracks for national uh, Italian TV and uh, for small movies and, and TV series, so he offered me his help if I needed to have an orchestra, he told me about this orchestra they use and he gave me some samples and I said, wow, this is a good idea, you know. So after, uh, after a few months when I really needed, I contacted him and we worked together, you know. I gave him all the, the scores and he printed out and made some small correction. And then he was ready to fly to Macedonia, Escofia, and record uh, the orchestra. And it was very cool. Well, the cover was released by Felipe Machado, which already realized the Frozen Tears of Angel and From Kiss to Eternity. I wanted him because I like the guy, he's very talented. He's, uh, sometimes he's, he's low, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it takes time to deliver a good cover, but in the end the result is great, you know. So I really sent him some sketches, what I had in mind, and he replied with some ideas, and he, we started working from there. I had, as I said, I had in mind to to have some wings on the cover, and then of course I said, "Wow, let's make let's make it a dragon," you know. This is uh, the extended version, actually. So this song was made. Um, that it, the first version was the extended version. This was the the the, the only version that existed. 
But then I, I liked so much the part, so I decided to make it short and to create a ballad for film. So we have the standard version in English, the short uh, version in English, the sh then we have the same short version but in two different languages, in Italian and in French. Yes, we are still to make it, and uh, we will make it in the next uh, next week. Yeah, we are a bit late on that, but it's going to be fine. You know, I have a fantastic location to shoot a video, to shoot the next video. So I'm very proud. I'm looking forward to do it. Yes, I. And our access, our agency, we are working on that right now, right in these days. We are evaluating different ideas and uh, I think there will be a European tour uh, early next year. And we are looking forward to come back in France, of course. I hope to see them coming to the next show we do in Paris and in France. And uh, we are really, as I said, you know, we are proud of uh, to play in this country. You know, we are we were always welcome when we play here since the very beginning. So it's like to come back home every time. I really, I really believe that. So I'm looking forward. To it.